Nothing to see here. Today I am checking out one of the more popular brands in California right now. They are called Jeter and they have these Jeter Juice disposable live resin vape pens that I keep hearing everyone talk about. So I wanted to get a couple for myself and see how good they really are. I got two different strains here. I got Chemdog and I got the Runts. Each one of these disposable vape pens comes in one of these little Mylar bags and it's kind of designed to look like a Capri Sun or like a classic juice box or something like that. But the packaging isn't the only unique thing about these vapes. Let me show you what I mean. Comes with a little charger, even though it's disposable. But check this out, you guys. This is what the Jeter Juice disposable pen looks like. Majority of the pen looks like your standard disposable vape pen that you would get. But when you look at the top here, they have a slanted straw mouthpiece. I have never seen anything on a vape quite like this. It's not really meant to do anything besides for just making a more comfortable hold while you're hitting it instead of having to like go straight down. It kind of like keeps it vertical while you're hitting it. It's kind of gimmicky, you're still holding it sideways. But I do like the idea. And it makes it so that the pen probably won't like roll off of the table as easily. But just from my first rip of this Chemdog disposable, I'm pretty impressed. I feel pretty good. The flavor was on point. There was a pretty decent cloud. Not too bad of a fill on this one either. Has a true classic Chemdog flavor. It's definitely more of like a dank, strain specific flavor on these pens more than just like some tutti fruity goodness. Not saying there's anything wrong with a fruity vape pen, but for those of you who like like a real weedy flavored vape, this one is on point. I just feel like when I see something like this, I'm more inclined to assume that there are quality components going in the battery as well, just not on the outside. That's not always the case sometimes. A really pretty battery or a really pretty product can totally suck when you actually look what's inside of it. But off of the hits, the effects, and whatnot, I really gotta say, I'm pretty impressed by the build of these batteries. Most disposables out there have that like super gross, harsh, metally rip to it, like right off the bat. You can't even get like one or two hits in of like enjoying the turps. It just instantly just feels like a burnt coil. Which is why for the most part, I tend to just get cartridges that I know I like the product that's inside of it and get a battery that I know I like, like one of these clout re-up batteries. And these are available in my online head shop, popporn.com, the number one online head shop on the entire internet. We got vape batteries, we got rigs, we got bongs, we got bangers, torches, basically anything you can find at your local head shop and it can get delivered right to your front door. Just go to popporn.com. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're here to talk about these Jeter pens. And honestly, looking at the back of this packaging, it has a lot of interesting information on it. The first thing that really stands out to me is that they say they have a crystal atomizer in there. That sounds a little woo-woo in my opinion, but they're claiming that there's crystal in here. And supposedly that helps prevent the oil from burning. I will say the color on this really is not bad, but they do have something on here that concerns me a little bit. It says that there's a color variation depending on pen to pen. So some of them might be a little darker or red or yellow, and they're not really consistent with the color which that's a red flag to me, to be honest, especially when it comes to BHO, color is pretty important. Not the most important thing, especially when it comes to terps, some terps do run a little bit darker, but if this was much darker, I would not be too satisfied, I'm being totally honest. But out of all of the little facts on the back, this is probably the most interesting. It says that there's a variable temperature control. I've never heard of that before this, but what they claim is if you rip the pen softer, it'll be a lower voltage, which will give you a better flavor, but a smaller cloud. But if you rip it harder, it will be a higher voltage. It won't have as good of a flavor, but you're gonna get a way bigger hit. I've never heard of the voltage changing depending on how hard you actually hit the pen. You usually have to predetermine that on the battery itself, but I wanna try that myself. Give it like a nice low and slow hit and then just rip the shit out of it and see if there's a noticeable difference in cloud and flavor for that matter. All right, let's start with the low and slow. That was still a pretty, pretty hard hit. I ripped it as slow as I could. I will say the flavor was phenomenal, but that was still a pretty big cloud. Like you saw that. I'm curious what'll happen when I rip the shit out of it. Oh yeah, the flavor was definitely not as good there. I couldn't even get it to a blinker, but 
That is pretty cool. I've never seen something like that before. Damn, I really never think that vape pens really get you to that true dab high, but this has me pretty fucking close, dude. I am ripped off of these vape pens. I will say, when I ripped this pen super hard, I did get that metal-y, burnt coil, disposable flavor that I hate. But low and slow on this pen is the way to go. That was a great flavor. It was a great cloud still. And I mean, just off of these last couple hits, I'm not kidding, I'm high. But I can't help but crack up. They put this little blue squishy foam in each one of these Mylar bags to make it look like it's actually a juice box. With the way this container is, I almost feel like they market it where they want you to put the pen inside here and like discreetly, quote unquote, hit this as if it's like a juice box. But first of all, like it's not discreet at all because there's a vape pen literally on each side of the bag. And I can't tell you the last time I saw a grown adult drinking a juice box in public. I really can't think of any situation where I would be like drinking a juice box and being like nonchalant about it. Like just hit the vape pen. Nothing to see here. But let's open this Runtz pen and see how it compares to the Chemdog. Yeah, looking at this, I can tell that the color is a little bit darker on the Runtz. The yellow one is the Runtz. Honestly, not the best fill on this one either. I feel like there's a big gap there. This pen has been hit a few times and still has a better fill. I do love the colors on these. I know that doesn't like really matter, but these pens do look super hard. Looks may be deceiving. I know this pen is a little bit darker, but let's see how it hits. Blows a nice cloud. I think the Chemdog has a little bit of a better flavor, especially for like runts. I feel like I'm like really picky about runts. And this is like kind of sweet, but not, not nearly as good as the chem dog, and honestly, I'm not a big chem dog guy, so I'm pretty surprised about that. I like the idea of these vape pens, but honestly, I can tell like a real lack of consistency in this brand already just off of getting these two pens. These are completely different quality pens. I'm always wary about Cali stats in particular, but it says that the Runtz pen is testing at just under 9% total terpenes. It doesn't tell you which ones, but it says that the Chemdog is testing at just over 12% total terpenes, so maybe that's why it has a little bit of a better flavor, but I don't know, man. I usually am like a much more of a Runtz over Chemdog kind of guy, but when it comes to these two, I'm picking Chemdog over Runtz, and that's a red flag to me as well. Especially me, I smoke a lot of weed. I've had a lot of strains. I know strains that I like. So if I'm trying a new company and if I'm trying certain strains that I know I like from that company and if I don't like the product, they're doing something weird there and I don't really like that. But I did only give this pen one hit. I'm not Dave Portnoy reviewing a pizza. Let me take another hit or two and see if I like it a little bit more. It's really smooth. I will say that, but just like there's not a good flavor. It was worse that time. I'm actually like getting a medley aftertaste just off the second rip. Now I wish I had like a whole spread of these so I could like really judge all of them. But out of these two, hands down, the Chem Dog's the winner. This one's fire. Oh yeah. I stand by that. This Chem Dog's pretty fucking good. Not so much with the runs. And this pen overall really isn't horrible. Most people probably wouldn't be super disappointed about it, but if you're like a real connoisseur, this is not the pen for you. And I would have just assumed they would have been better across the board just due to their popularity and the praise I've heard about these, but I think they need some quality control that they need to work on still, because these just really didn't blow me away as a whole. I liked it. I'd probably rate it like a 7 out of 10 overall, like it's not horrible. And maybe that's just because I'm probably holding these guys to a little bit of a higher pedestal just because of how popular they are. But I'm just naturally going to do that. If a brand is super popular, I'm going to be like, what's all the buzz about? And assume that it's a better product than most. But overall, can't hate on it. These definitely got me stoned. That's probably my favorite part about these pens. I have not gotten this stoned off a disposable in a hot minute. And I don't really even feel like I took that many hits off of them. Let me try to hit two at one time and see what happens. Oh shit. 
walrus hits for the win, you guys. <laughs> but that is the end of the video, you guys. Click like if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe for more videos. I got a lot more on the way. Leave a comment, let me know what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. And don't forget to check out my online head shop, popcorn.com. It's the number one online head shop on the entire internet. I have no proof of that, but I'm gonna keep saying it until it's true. So help my dreams become a reality. Check out popcorn.com next time you're looking for something that you'd find at your local head shop, because I can send it right to your front door. Just go to popcorn.com. Also guys, let me know if you've ever tried these Jeter cards. Let me know your opinion, because I kind of have mixed reviews overall. The chem dog was fire, the runs was ass, but I know that these are super popular in California, so there's gotta be some reason for it. So leave a comment, let me know why you guys like them so much. But that's the end of the video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Jeff, peace.